Hey guys, what's up? Matt Young here from Magic Ant Squidoo. Got another great magic video for you, right? So let's jump into the trick. This is called a Voodoo Zone. All right, look, got a uh, card here. One bicycle, or bicycle card, folded uh, long ways, and I've got one folded across the uh, the short end, just like that, right? Now watch. If I take the um, this one, or if I take a uh, take this one, and I um, take this one. I uh, slide it in just like so. Now watch. Nothing happens, right? You can see both sides. Nothing changes at all. Now watch. Now check it out. If I slide it in just like this. Now watch closely. Because when I do it just right, strange phenomena happens. Look. You can see the uh, you can see the outside there because I just folded it the uh, where the back is in, right? You can see, you can see the outside there. You can see the um you can see the five there, right? It says the uh, five of clubs and then you got the four of clubs. But watch, when I slide it through now, wave my hand over it. You'll see the way I wave my hand over it now. A strange thing happens. See, inside the four is the voodoo zone. Right? It's pretty cool, isn't it? And it just changes. It totally just flips itself. You can see, it just looks really weird, doesn't it? Really weird. It's being kind of goofy here. Looks so weird, doesn't it? You can see there's no nothing that's odd on the other side. It's just so weird. It just completely changes, right? And what's amazing is I can do just like this. I can, you know, dang it. I can watch this. I can pull it and I can tear it. I can tear it all the way. Watch. <sighs> tear it out. <clears throat> tear it out. See nothing. Nothing's odd about that card. It's the same card. You say people say, well, when I do it, they say, well, look, it totally reverses. Here's the, uh, the back, and here's the front. They say, well, it's got to be some kind of trick card. They've got to fit together. But well, they don't fit together. But if I flip this one over, well, you can see they go together, just like that. All right, let's get on with uh, how this trick works, right? Now, it's a really simple trick. It just requires a, just a little bit of um, prep. Uh, I've got some old red bicycle cards that I got water damage that I like to use because, well, they got wet and I can't use them for anything else. So, since you are ripping cards up in this trick, this is a great way to use it. Um, first card, I've got the actual eight of clubs here. I'm going to take it. I'm going to fold it across the short rise, right? Just like so. Just like that. Um, suggestion is don't only fold it this way, actually fold it back because it'll make it easier in a few minutes when you're when you're performing, right? So that, and then you have that card prepared, right? Now you're going to take this one. This one is the, uh, the, the kind of one that's kind of trickier. You're going to fold it like a hot dog, like I said a minute ago. Fold it across this way. This is your long one, right? And just to make it a little easier, you may want to go ahead and fold it double back the other way as well. You don't have to do that on, on either of these cards. It just makes them a little bit easier to handle. Now here's the trick, right? Not only are you folding these, but you're going to take this one, one that's folded long ways like this, you're going to take it on one side and you're going to tear in the middle, right? The middle right there. And tear just to the center, right? Just so you see it has something that looks kind of like this, right? Something looks like that. Now you're ready to perform, right? You're going to take your card, and normally you would hold it with the rip down, just like that, the rip down. But since the camera is sideways, I'm going to hold it like this with the rip back towards me. And you can do that with your spectator as well. Or you can hold it down. It's the same difference. doesn't make much difference. You're going to start off just like this, right? You're going to have the ripped card in your left hand. You know, it's kind of opposite here. And you're going to have it, the rip covered by your thumb, right? So you can go, look, bicycle card, bicycle card. It's just folded, right? And then we've got another one. It's folded the other way, right? Start off, you're going to say, watch. So slide this in just like this. Fold it. Say, look, nothing odd happens. You just see the face, right? Fold it out again. Being careful not to show the rip there. Just keep that towards you. And fold it across. Pull it off. Don't let the rip show. Keep it in your thumb, right? Just say, but watch. Here's the cool part. If I do it again, here's where you can kind of sneaky, right? You're going to let that fold kind of lift up in the back, not much. And when you put this down, you're going to slide it into the fold just like that. So you're going to slide it right under that fold, right? Just like that. Take some practice, you're just going to do it just like this. You're going to slide right under the fold, just like that. Now, it's going to be behind there, so you're not going to see them. Okay? 
and this is going to be from your view. Then you're going to fold this, up, and then you're going to slide this up just like this, right? Where it's just over the top. That way, when you fold it around, they don't see this weird edge there. They don't see where half of it's already gone, where half of it's been folded under. Hold up, just, it's just past that right there, right? And you're going to take this corner right here, and fold it all the way around. So you're going to be holding it just like this. This is from, fold just like that. That's from my view. And when I'm performing it, then here's the. Uh, Here's your exposed view. You're going to be looking at it just like this. You're going to take it. You're going to fold it all the way around. Just like that. Right? Now you're set. Ready to go. Right? This is going to be just like that. You're going to say, now look. Now be sure I made the mistake of holding it with the thing up. And so it kind of popped up a little. You might have saw that. Be sure you hold it with the folded side down right here. Right? Folded side down. Right? You're saying, now watch. Here's the cool thing. Now inside that card is the voodoo zone, right? Slide it slowly through and it'll magically reverse, right? Say so look. Actually even I can reverse it, I can I can you know bring it back, watch. This trick is so easy, it performs itself. If you do that a couple times, ooh and all your spectator, you open it back up, being sure not to let them see your um uh, being sure not to let them see your co-cut thing, fold it back up. Pull it out just far enough so you can you can barely see that. And you're gonna rip it, right? You're gonna rip it all the way through now. Rip that card you started with all the way through. So be sure you have a card that you can destroy. You're gonna rip it all the way through. You're gonna pull it out and you say, look, nothing odd about this card, right? And just to prove to you nothing odd about this card, people say, you can go in your spiel about say, people say it must be kind of some kind of trick card that must fit together backwards. And you can say, no, look, this card especially works good for that. Say, look, they don't fit together. But if I reverse the flip this around the right way. Well, let's see, it goes right together, just like so. You could just hand the evidence to the spectator, drop it on the ground if you want. I mean, be sure you pick it up later, but drop it on the ground and they will be astounded. You can hand it out. You're ending clean. That's what I love about this trick. You end clean, right? Now, you could do this with any deck of cards, but I highly recommend that you do it with just a normal old bicycle deck that's worn out. Because let's face it, any other cards you buy, especially for Magic, you're not going to want to rip them up and they cost a good bit of money. So. Um, anyway, it's a great little gag if you have some, happen to have some old cards laying around that uh, you don't use anymore, you don't need. Hey, it's really fun. gets great reactions. Go and have more fun doing this trick. Go practice it a lot. Watch this video over and over if you need to. Again, I'm Matthew Young at Magic at Squidoo. Uh, contact us at Twitter. You can email us at Magic at Squidoo at gmail.com. Um, you can go to Twitter, like I said, Magic at Squidoo. You can also go to Facebook, like our page on Facebook. You'll get updates from our videos and our Twitter and everything on Facebook. Go to our blog, magicatswadoo.blogspot.com. So anywhere, any, anywhere, anytime, you can get a hold of us and you can see our great videos. Hope you have a great weekend. I'm Matt Young, and I'll see you next time.